everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to test an Agent Force agent using custom evaluation criteria, from creating the test in VS Code to running it in the testing center. Let's say I have an Agent Force agent that retrieves information from the web. I'm going to ask what is an LLM, for example. It's going to go ahead and check in the web and return some citations to me. It did come back with the correct answer, which is a large language model, plus some additional data. Now, what I want to make sure of is that no matter when I ask this question, the answer always contains the string large language model. That's exactly where testing center and custom evaluation criteria come in. So let's head to VS Code. And as you can see from here, I have this test already set up inside my AI evaluation definitions folder. And also make sure you follow the naming conventions. In this case, this is called custom evaluation .ai evaluation definition meta.xml. So the name of your test will be custom evaluation in this case, as you can also see from here in the XML. So what's happening here? I define the input, what does LLM stand for? And I am adding this expectation for the custom evaluation criteria where we are doing a string comparison. We have an operator that is contains and the expected that we have is large language model. The actual data that we receive will be set up by this path. So as we can see, we are checking the function name. This is my action. And then I am retrieving the data. So whatever comes from there is going to be my actual data. My expected is large language model and my operator is contains. I also added a few other tests, like make sure the topic is the topic that I need and the action is the action that I want. Once that is done, I can deploy it to Salesforce directly from VS Code. All I need to do is right click on the folder right here and select SFDX deploy the source to org. Now to actually run this test, I have two options. One of them is using the terminal. I can run safe agent test run, and this will connect to the Salesforce CLI. It will ask me which of the tests I want. If I had more than one, I would be able to see them here. For this case, I only have one, so I can press on enter. And once it starts the job, it will just let me know what is the job ID, and it will tell me that it finished running. The other thing that you can do is to go directly to testing center. Once you open your test, you will be able to see here a rerun or a run test suite option. So you can also do that from the UI if you don't want to use Salesforce CLI. So here's the result. All the tests passed, confirming that my agent returned the correct phrase and followed the right steps. As you can see from here, we have the topic test results, which passed, the action test result, which also passed, and the string comparison, which also passed. So that's it. With custom evaluation criteria, I can lock in these quality checks so my agent always behaves the way that I expect.